Why? Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and good morning to Sir Arif. Okay, uh, for today, me and my group will be presenting our novel assignment, uh, novel analysis, uh, novel by um, Robert Louis Stevenson. Okay, uh, so uh, in my group, okay, it consists of me, Muhammad Zaimah, Muhammad Zaimi, and then we have Alif Rifan um, as the next presenter, and the rest of the team is Hazda Kamal. Omar and Rifki. All right, now moving on. Okay, so the table of contents. Uh, okay, the first one we will talk about the characters and characteristics. Okay, the second is similarities and differences in facing the challenges in adventure in between the characters that we have chosen, and the third one is references. Okay, so the characters. Okay, the first character is. Jim Hawkins. Okay, Jim Hawkins is a young boy. Okay, Jim, Haw uh, Jim Hawkins is a young boy, the son of an innkeeper near Bristol. Okay, he is the young protagonist and narrator of Treasure Island. And the second one is Dr. David Livesey. Okay, Dr. David Livesey is the local doctor and he is also the district magistrate. And now we are moving on to the characteristic. Okay, I will be handing this presentation to Alif Rifan. Thank you very much, Mr. Mirza. So I will now be explaining about the characteristics of these two characters that we have chosen. <clears throat> For the first one, Dr. Lisi, we have here. And so Dr. Lisi is a wise and practical person, being the mature and older person in contrast to Hawkins. And he is a fair-minded person, magnanimously agreeing to treat the pirates with just as much as his, as his own mounted man. Lipsy represents the steady, modest virtues of everyday life rather than fantasy, dream, or adventure. Jim Hawkins, he is, a, he, uh, he is an eager and enthusiastic young boy to go to the sea for, tre for treasure. He is a modest narrator never boasting about his remarkable courage and heroism that he put at this place. Jim is, however, often impulsive and impetuous, but he also exhibits increasing sensitivity and resourcefulness over the course of the story. Moving on to similarities and differences of our assignment, so I will be passing the presentation back to Mr. Mircell for explaining this and further information. Thank you, Alif. Okay, so the first similarities and differences between Dr. Livesey and Tim Hawkins. Okay, we have uh, similarities. Both possesses um, a heart of gold. Okay, as seen with uh, when Jim sympathized with the dead Captain Flynn. Okay, uh, former Captain Pirate. Okay, and Dr. Livesey tended to the injured pirates despite them threatening him and company beforehand. Okay, the differences between uh, is that. Um, when uh, faced with problems, Dr. Lizzie tends to observe the predicament beforehand and acts on careful judgments. However, the youthful Jim jumps straight into the face of problem and frequently finds himself bested or captured by his enemies. Uh, so that is the first similarities and differences between Dr. Lizzie and Jim Hawkins. For the second one, I'll be um, returned back to Alif. Presented here two similarities and two different and two differences over these two characters. For the second similarities, so both Jim and Dr. Lindsay had a degree of civility whenever meeting an unknown side, which is not really much seen in nowadays real problems. Both of these traits were seen when they met Ben Gunn for the first time. Instead of quickly making enemies with the unknown old man, they were quick to be civil with him and make everything peaceful. And they made sure they were on the same page without any misunderstandings and needless violence. And for the differences between these two, so Jim is an adventurous youngster who is thrilled to join in on the journey. As such, his character undergoes a lot of 
changes as well as curiosity, uh, curiosity and innocence. Meanwhile, Dr. Livesey, on the other hand, is an experienced doctor and a mature person who has seen even the worst of people. So nothing ever seems to surprise him anymore. In the, whole, in the story, he seems unnerved knowing that there were pirates in his crew and he did not seem but and he did not seem to be even threatened or intimidated over knowing that he is, however, in outmatched by the pirates at the climax of the story. So I think that is all from us. So please, here are the references that we have followed. And therefore, we are able to present this. So I, I thank you very much, sir, for listening to us. That is all from us. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Okay, thank you, Bobby. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir.